Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, today I am going to discuss about SMPP enquire link and enquire link responses. So what is the use of enquire link, why it is used and what are the various parameters, what are the message structure of enquire link and this I am going to discuss with a live trees. So friends, uh, before starting, let me show you here I have already uploaded few more videos related to SMPP and SMS. Here you can get a deep understanding of how the SMPP works, overview and all these various messages I have described in details. You can view these videos before starting this so you can get a deeper understanding of this. Here also I have uploaded more videos related to SMPP and SS7 integration. So these are also related to SMS only. So you can view these videos as well. So friends, let's start today's topic. So here you can see that uh, uh, what is enquire link in SMPP. So basically enquire link is used to ping the uh, uh, check the stability of the connection. This message is used to provide a confidence check of the communication path between ESME and the SMSC. So if there is a uh, TCP connection established between ESME and SMSC, so this connection they check uh, uh, sending an enquiry link request and response. Verifying this request and response, they can understand that both the nodes are up and running. So it, this basically checks the ping between ESME and SMSC. If SMSC, ESME sends an enquiry link and gets an enquiry link response, that means the connection is up and running. So this is basically a ping request and response to check the stability of the connection. So let's see what are the what is the structure of enquiry link. What are the message structure or syntax of the enquiry link? So here you can see that the common length is four. So uh, this is basically the common uh, common number uh, which is the enquire link uh, uh, enquire link static number which is allocated by the standards so uh, this length is 4 so this is common length of the entire length of the message this is the common id which is also 4 bytes integer and then the common status which is not used here so sequence number here it sends the sequence number that's also four byte and here is the enquire link response so let's uh, show an uh, trace here so here you can see that i have captured a live trace where the enquire link request is sent to smsc and enquire link response is received from smsc so here if i check the <clears throat> enquire link message so length is 16 so this is 4 byte uh, octet 4 octet length so here you can see it's 4 octet uh, the length parameter then the enquire link uh, operation command id which is uh, hex 15 is the command id which is also 4 bytes here you can see that it is 4 bytes then the sequence number uh, sequence number also 4 bytes so here uh, these are the total length of the uh, message so here while sending the enquire link request you have to set the uh, length operation what is the command id and the sequence number you have to set to the smsc and smsc if smsc is available it will respond with the enquire link response so here you can see the enquire link response also has the same uh, same here uh, common status and sequence number whatever sequence number is sent uh, here in enquire link request the same sequence number is received in the uh, enquire link response to uh, compare both the request and response messages so let's see an enquire link response message how it looks like in uh, one OS trace uh, so here is the enquire link response here so here the first byte is the length second byte is the command and query link response then uh, result is uh, result is okay so this means that the result is okay so here is four bytes results then the sequence number uh, result is four bytes then is the sequence number so here you can compare the sequence number which is uh, which request you have sent 
sequence number 123 then you respond is also 123 so whatever sequence number you will send in a request same sequence number you will receive in response to compare that the same uh, request and response is working so here <coughs> So here is the enquiry link. Uh, so until and unless you get a, you uh, if the request not times timing out, uh, then uh, and status is not something else it's returning. So uh, till then it it is thought that the connection is stable and established between ESME and SMSC. So it's a uh, is to check the connectivity is live or not. This enquiry link request response is used in SMSC. So this is all about enquire link. I have shown all the uh, parameters, how it works, what are the parameters need to construct uh, to send an enquire link request. So friends, thanks for watching. This is all about enquire link. So here is my uh, channel. If you uh, here, I have uploaded few more videos related to C VoIP, RTP, SS7, C, C++, OpenShift, and C tool related traffic programming SMPP SMSC as I mentioned earlier and WebRTC related uh, protocol related debugging related videos are here if you are interested you can check these videos as well so friends don't forget to subscribe here if you subscribe to my channel if I will upload more new more videos you will get a notification here so friends thanks thanks for watching